I usually don't talk about, you know, the struggles or anything that I've overcome because I'm I'm in a new, I, I try to live in the now rather than live in the past, but I know the struggle has made me a totally different person, changed my mentality, changed my whole aspect of life, and there's a little bit about me, you know, I'm from Chicago, west side of Chicago, uh, Austin neighborhood, one of the roughest neighborhoods in the city, but you still overcome that, like... Even though I've seen hard times and I've been through hard things, been robbed, you know, been shot at or, you know, just like crazy things that you shouldn't have to go through in life. But uh, that's the situation that I was in or the certain time that I was in in life. I was, you know, just wrong, either going with the wrong crowd or, you know, just getting myself in bad situations. But um you know, coming from Chicago is it's not easy as I make it seem, man. Cause it's just like, uh every I feel like every school that I went to have made me a totally different person. So, coming from you know Kip, then going to Urban Prep, and then coming here, it just changed my whole aspect of life. And I just want to you know first thank God for all the wonderful opportunities that He has you know let me be able to obtain and for the great things that he's had me do and you know do for others and stuff like that but I also thank my mom because she's literally <laughs> she's one of the hardest working people that I know and that's why I get my grind from this woman goes to work from 4 a.m to like 4 p.m or even later like working 12 13 hour shifts like like it ain't nothing so sometimes people wonder why you go so hard on everything and it's just because I want to show my family that anything is possible if anything is possible if you put your mind to it and i want to show my little sister my you know my nieces and nephews that don't ever don't let people tell you that you can't do something as long as you believe it you can do anything you can, you put your mind to but a little bit more you know families coming from a middle class not when you say middle class i would just say you know average income family in chicago you know, just trying to make ends meet. You know, um, we weren't that we weren't that wealthy, but my mom made it. She made it happen. Like, we didn't really have to worry about anything or bag for anything because she was always working day and night, like grinding for her kids. This woman wouldn't even go out. Like, she wouldn't go out at all. Like, we would have to force her to go out. We're like, mom, go out, have a good time. Like. You deserve it. You've been working all like you've been working all day, like but just seeing how she grind just turned me to a different animal. Now it's like I don't let anything stop me because I know somebody's out there either working harder than me, but also I know my why. I know why I started this. I know if I give up, you know, I'm going back to back to Chicago, back to you know, back to hard times rather than making myself better every single day so I cannot you know, not go back to the old situation that I was in, but um, just being from being from the city, man, it's it's a crazy life. But the struggle always makes you a better person, man. That's why I tell everybody. It's crazy because a lot of people only see the success, they don't see the hard times that you went through. They don't see none of that. They just see where you at now. But man, I've been through some. I've been through some rough times, man. Like. And it's like I sometimes I don't be wanting to get into a deep too detail with it just because it's in the past and I don't like living in the past. But I, I'm not if I appear to be perfect, I'm not perfect. I have made mistakes, you know. I've had had trial and error in life, but you just gotta live and learn from that. Not and learn not to make the same mistake twice. Simple as that. What up? Yeah, my mom uh, raised. Three kids, four going on. Well, four kids now because my little sister. Uh, my dad wasn't always there, but she was like the mom and dad. She made sure you know she could do the best that she can. She came to some games she could. You know she won't be able to come to a lot of them. So you know having that mix mixed feeling at you know at your games. You got all your friends, they dads, they moms at the game, and nobody there supporting you. So you know. Coming up like that is kind of hard because you like you kind of be like man like why she ain't at the game, but you still gotta understand that you know she got things she got you know priorities to do and shit like everything, 
everything is like it's happened for a reason. But um a little bit about a little bit more about me, um Hmm. Let's see. Just a young kid from Chicago, man, like none of this was planned. None of this was guaranteed. Kids usually don't make it out of the city. That's why I go hard on everything. I got to show people that it's a way. I got to show others that were in my circumstances, that were in my situations, that it's possible to make it out. And that's, that's you know, that's why I go hard on everything. I got to show them because nobody else is going to show them. They still got the same resources that we had years ago. People are not, you know, helping them out. They don't have really any good role models. Only role models are the ones that you see on TV, you know, shooting hoops or... Like, we don't have no influential, like, people that are doing big things without the help of sports or stuff like that. Um, but I embrace the struggle, man. Struggle made me. Struggle made me who I am. Made me a better person. So I tell people all the time, you might be, you know, you might be stronger than me. You might could jump higher than me. You might be more athletic than me. But my work ethic. That's what gets me through the door. The struggle helps you on your work ethic. You know, you know, um, you you know that uh, no matter how hard something is, if you give you know your hundred and ten work ethic, then it's it's, it's not unattainable. Like <clears throat> you cannot reach that goal. So that's why I kind of appreciate the hard times that I went through because it just you know. Made me, made me a new me. Now I, now I look at things totally different. Um, let's see what else. Hmm. It's just all for the family, man. Like, ain't no really no way to sugarcoat it. Family been working way too hard. Way too hard. And it's like why? What you? They they're not sending you to school to fuck off. So it's like you got to take care of business. You can't be out here lollygagging, and having fun, even though you want to. But you got priorities, man. Like, <laughs> um, let's see. What's my last takeaway for the people? Um, don't ever judge a book by its don't judge a book by its cover, man. Cause I know a lot of people. Well, I wouldn't say a lot of people. I know a lot of people, but I know people that always just get judged because you know they're a certain skin color, or you know they talk talk a certain way, <coughs> stuff like that. But you don't know that person. Like you, you don't truly know that person. So how can you judge them by something that you see? And it's kind of crazy because I know now, you know people don't expect the things that I'm. They don't. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's not natural, you know. It's out of the norm for a black guy to be doing some of the things that I'm doing. And it's just because I'm all about self-improvement. I'm all, I'm all about, you know, bettering myself every single day, but also trying to better others, show them, show them the way and stuff like that. But, um, <clears throat> God, this cold is killing me. But yeah, just what like going, going on with uh, self improvement. It's the way. It's the new wave, man. You gotta better yourself every single day. You can't try to be the same person that you was before. You should always strive to try to be better. And you can only change the world if you change yourself. So always start with yourself, and don't point uh, fingers or blame others for you know the certain situations that you're in, because you control your life and you control your destination. So stop pointing the fingers and. Point it back at yourself, cause it's all up to you. Um, closing remarks. Embrace the struggle, man. It's hard now, but it's gonna get easier. Just depending on uh your mindset, work ethic, <coughs> and your support system. That's very uh, you need that as well. I'm glad that I have that, you know, family and friends, especially my family, just, you know, 
they believe they believe in me so that's like that just you know pushes you to go even harder on a lot of things just because knowing that you can't you know you can't not knowing you can't fail but knowing that if you fail the certain like what's going to happen if you fail so that's really all I'm had to do another one too but that's it we out but some highlights on my school. So Kip was man phenomenal. Like they they whole way of teaching was just so empowering. Uh, we went to school from nine to five, like a, like a full time job. But like they made teaching fun. So you actually was excited to go to school and learn new things and try new things. Cause we had Saturday school. So Saturday school, we like do you go there and like learn something, learn how to cook learn how to dance, learn how to, it was all kind of stuff, it was, it was just crazy, so, like, that was just a step one that just, like, you know, opened my mind to, you know, a new way of life, and then after I went to, from KIPP, I went, I graduated, and I went to Urban Prep, at first, I was kind of sketchy, I was like, uh, it's all boys school, I don't, I don't know about this, but, um, that school was very, that was an excellent choice, my mom made me go there, but it, I, I, like, I'm glad that she did because, you know, it helped me find a good source. I say a good source, but it helped me find a lot of role models that I can look up to. You know, young, well, I would say young, but black educated man, you know, which is rare for, uh, to find, you know, in Chicago. I would say, I wouldn't say that, but, you know, just, you know, young, black educated man doing good things. And like having having that and seeing that was just like oh well I can you know I can do that too I can I can do anything else, you know because they are doing it so why can't I do it? So going to that school was very good for me. Opened up my opened up my eyes to a lot of things. Had a lot of experiences. Got to meet a lot of new people. I was a savage though. Yeah, I was playing football, baseball, cross country or not cross country track and wrestling. I was doing, I was SGA president, like, I was everywhere, I was so involved on campus, it was crazy, but, um, that was a fun chapter of my life, that was pretty cool, just, even though, even though it was all boys school, we still had, we still had fun, like, <clears throat> people would just be like, oh, it's all boys school, bro, where the girls are, how you going, bro, you, you coming to school for the wrong reason, like, you can, you can always get girls. Like, that's, that's, people's minds are just so, I don't know, people are, I don't know, I don't want to get on that topic. But, then I came here, Marietta College, after I graduated from Urban Prep. First, I was like, I didn't even come visit the school. Like, I was just like, man, I, I heard, researched about it. I was like, man, this is a great school. Let's go. Came here. First year, did decent. You know, second year, I was like, start going, you know, falling in and out. <clears throat> um, you know, was struggling a little bit, trying to, you know, get my grades right and shit like that. Uh then I wanna say, you know, I played football my first two years. I wanna say my junior year. No. Yeah, like my junior year, I had got uh, one of those letters, like, hey, you're below a 2.0, you know, you got to bounce back from that. Didn't bounce back, because I had a bad semester, but Marietta gave me the chance to, you know, gave me a second chance, so that's what was kind of like, it's my fifth year now, <coughs> so it was kind of like a wake-up call, it's like, alright, bro, you got to get on your grind, like, you here for a reason, time to get on it. Time to, you know, be a man of your words and always be about self-improvement. So this fifth year has just been, my mindset has totally changed about school. Now I'm going to class, like, either trying to learn something, learn something I did know, or trying to, you know, basically always just learning and trying to be, well, not trying, but learning just because you never know when something's going to become beneficial to you in a later life. So now school... School's been going good. Got 18 hours right now. Um, Going to graduate with a major and a minor. Major in land and energy management and a minor in uh, organization communication. So 
But now it's all about the grind. It's all about finishing up, making my mom proud, making my family proud, showing them, showing them that anything is possible. Going back to the city and you know bettering my environment, having you know being a mentor to the kids, showing them that anything is possible. So that's what it's all about. Service to the people. Bless up. You know, sometimes people just see the material things and they be like, man, you wealthy. Huh? Huh? Not at all. The difference between that is I worked for everything. It wasn't no, Ma, give me this. You know, I get that sometimes, but it was a work. If you want something, work for it. And that's what I, my mom taught me that. Like, I've been working since, you know, since the teen years, since they had Chicago summer summer uh, jobs, you know, doing that as a kid, then, you know, working in high school at Sonic, and coming here, working, I've literally worked, I want to say, I got to calculate it up, I think it's over 20 jobs, and I'm only 22 years old, so, um, just working for, just working, and Working for everything that you got helps you appreciate the things that you do have. So, I take care of all my clothes, you know, take care of all my shoes. Because, you know, I bought that. Like, it's like, you value things more when you actually buy it versus if somebody buy it for you. So, that's why all my shoes be looking A1 because, you know, hey, shout out to Jason Mark because, you know, I take care of that. Clean him up one time. But, um...